Hello everyone, welcome back to our premium course. This part I will focus about the primary size of all C elements or predimension for the reinforced concrete elements like beams, slab, stair, or columns, pie caps. Start up from the beam and slab. For the more detail, you can read the document below. For the span and depth ratio for the concrete slab, for the concrete beam, it depends on the uh, uh, strain, simply supported beam or continuous beam one way or two way. For the slab and for the beam, depend on the earn condition or the support, simply supported beam or continuous beam or cantilever beam. Check more detail here. Now I focus on uh, our project. Click on the setup view cat to open file or see beam slab plan missing floor. Check the dimension of the beam yeah, from grid line 2A to grid line 1. 6.15 meter and along the y direction is 6.35 6 meter. Now we have to do pre-dimension of the beam. You can check the unrestrained or support condition. Imply supported beam or continue a beam. This is the continue a beam. Now let's check and input 6.15. Okay, 6.15. Uh, over the uh, span deep ratio is equal to 400 tens. It's not the, the high of beam, it's the effective deep of beam. So you need to include the cover reinforcement. So now I, I round it up to 500. Okay, 500. For the section of beam, we do B is equal to 300 multiply with 500 millimeter. Okay, you can use uh, W30 multiply with 50. For the B, if you use a narrow B, 200 millimeter, it is difficult to arrangement the reinforcement in this section so uh, you you should increase the the width of b to 300 okay for the slab check the span of slab 6.35 okay input 6.35 ratio for the continue of beam to west slab with you all uh, over 40 or you can do uh, up to L over 44. Now I do uh, L over 40. You can do uh, it up to L over 44. So the effective dip of the slab is equal to 144. Include the cover of reinforced concrete. So you can round it up to 170 millimeter. Okay, 170 millimeter. This is how we can do primary size on all C member like beam and slab. For the stair, you can check for the one way slab. Okay, for monitor here, one way slab and choose the L over D ratio and cantilever slab also the same. You L over D between 5 to 7. For the concrete cover, you can use the minimum 25 mm or 30 mm. It depends on the cloud exposure. If the uh, concrete is exposed directly to the soil, the cover or the reinforcement, we need more than uh, 50 or 70 mm, 75 mm for ball pie, or you can use 100 mm. So it depends on the cloud exposure. For the more condition in the building, you can use 25 to uh, 30 mm. The minimum concrete strength for the concrete structure, we keep it 25 MPa. We will discuss more about how to choose the correct concrete strength for each element, beam slab, pie cap, or wall, or for the wall pie. For the uh, reinforced concrete slab, I suggest you use uh, the slab less than uh, 30 square meter to reduce slab thickness. If uh, you use the slab area greater than 30 square meter, so the slab thickness will be increased more. It's not economic. You have to add sub beam to reduce the slab thickness. Check in uh, our model. You see here, now I check the area of the slab PO to check the property. And and now area is 39 okay 39 square meter it's over 30 over 30 square meter so uh, the signal of the slab also deeper than the slab you the area between uh, 
30 or less than 30 square meter. You see how you can seal the material in construction site. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. We will continue to the pie cap and column. Now let's compare the slab signet, machining floor and first floor. What is different? For the first floor we use sub beam. So the signet or slab reshoot to 120 millimeter. In the previous plan, the slab signet is 170 millimeter. So if you want to reshoot signet or slab, should add the extra beam or sub beam below the slab. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for your watching. Thank you.